Hello, this is Nurse Tilson here, and this is a little video to show how you can set up a stair with just three winders um, on a quarter turn. Uh, here I have a stair that I've just set up very quickly in Stair Designer. That is, in fact, two flights. Um, but by default, if we look at in in 2D, we can see this clearly. By default, Stair Designer will will put winders all along the step. Put, this is actually a stair with dancing steps, and this makes a very, very safe stair to come up, climb up and down, because all the collets, which are the width of the steps near the outer string, are as wide as they can be, and it also makes an elegant stair where the strings are nearly straight, just following the steps. You can see that the actual stair has got a nice, even form to it, but of course this makes it more complicated to make because you have to make all the steps triangular shaped and not parallel. So often uh, when we make uh, cheap, more cheap stairs, uh, less expensive stairs uh, that are quarter turn, um, especially in the UK and the US, stair builders like to use a, a just a three winder quarter turn so that all the other steps are just parallel steps, easier to machine, and makes it makes a, a cheaper stair. So how do we set this up with stair designer? Well, stair designer is not really hasn't got any particular function for this. We can set it up, and I'm just going to show you how we do this. The first thing we have to do to set this up would be to create, in fact, a uh, a landing step at the corner of the stair where the stair is actually turning. So I'm going to create a landing step here. So I click right on my step and I put landing step in. And now the step the stair is divided up into two separate flights separated by the landing step number eight here. Now if I click right on one of the on the landing step I can have the option in the step um, menu move step and I can adjust the position of this step as I want, so let's move the step and I can now change the position of the step. And you notice that in fact what's happening here is that the going, which is the distance between this nosing here and this nosing here on the, um, the center line, has been modified. This, I can do the same thing here, I can move this step here so that I can have an even space the step around the corner nicely. Let's move this end, let's move this dot corner here closer to the corner of the post. And now, let's move this one a bit over like this and position this kite, st well, kite step, corner step here, evenly around the center of the um, stair. Now, to, do, to make the other step straight, I'm just going to click right on the next step and say this is a straight step. And click right on this step here and say this is a straight step too. And now we can see that, in fact, our stair has become a stair with two straight flights joined by three winders. The specific, the fun, what's special about this type of turn is that for our, in here where I am in France, our European standards, we're not allowed to do this because the going has to be always the same on the going line of all the steps. Uh, whereas uh, this is tolerated in some countries like the UK and the US, and uh, the, the, the going is a bit different around the turn. Um, if we look at the stair in 3D, stair designer has now adjusted the strings so that the step housings can be taken into the, uh, uh, um, can be included into the string shape. Um, this is not particularly elegant, so what we usually do here is we're going to take the flight parameters and say that on the right side we have straight strings and straight handrails, and we're going to take the flight parameters here and also have straight strings and straight handrails and this is going to give us this is going to give us this and we can see here now that we have we can see that stair designer has calculated three risers turning quickly around here as we have calculated also that well, stair designer is also drawing the strings along the position of the steps nosings step housings in the string the string here has got a strange shape because it follows a strange shape and this would have to be readjusted in CAD or of course we can readjust it in the 2D uh, we can always move this step if we want to we can move this step back we can see that 
moving it back will give us a nicer shaped string. But notice that moving this back moves the whole flight back. It recalculates the, the goings on the different flights. But here the going will now be not perfectly um, the same going around the turn. In theory, we should have the same going around this turn. But it's not exactly, but it has smoothed out a bit the string. But it is possible to move the step, the landing step, and the, the other steps will be calculated moving back. But we do have now a three step turn. Okay, I hope that's been interesting to you to see how to set up a three step turn. Um, it's not a configuration I would suggest you do. If you're making your stair on, you know, CNC machinery, or if it's a stair which you you're not really very very tight budget stair, because it's not a safe um, way of turning making a stair turn, because the going, as I as we said, the going here is not the same as going on each flight. So, okay, hope that's been interesting, and hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much.